going on with it, man? We about to go to Jabari to get another video. For right now, we about to go check in with something we ain't did in a little minute, though. I ain't gonna lie. Couldn't watch the loyalty test in this video, man. But yeah, man, without further ado, we're about to go ahead and jump right into the video. You know, we don't like to do too much. As some of you remember, we filmed a video with him where he was ready to simp over a girl. Well, ladies and gentlemen, according to him, his simping days are over. You see, after the release of that video, Xavier was getting a lot of love, and he came to the realization that there was no need to simp. Women want him. Okay, I'm good. All right, copy that. We are moving into position. Over. Oh, you really nice parked all over really What the hell? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I gotta make it look realistic. With his newfound confidence, Xavier jumped on dating apps and eventually matched with his girlfriend. We'll just call her Yuli. All right, Elias, we are in position. Over. You want me to send in Tim? Yeah, let's go ahead and send Tim in. Over. Having seen our videos, though, and with the state of this dating world, Xavier wanted to make sure that Yuli was loyal. It's your boy Antonio back. We back with the Riz, ladies and gentlemen. Xavier told Yuli that he was here to pick up his laptop from his friend's apartment, illegally parking his car in the process. It is go time. All right, here goes Tim. Gonna happen. Our buddy Tim was pretending to be parking enforcement. The plan was for him to issue a ticket. Looks believable. Looks pretty good, yeah, right? Looks good, yeah. Looks good. <laughs> oh, hi. Okay, but you can't park here. Oh, she's talking to him. You know that, right? There's, it's red. It just says no parking. It's all red. <laughs> Clearly, they're in English. When the time is right, oh, Antonio will step in and proceed to making his move on Yuli. Will she give him her number and agree to go on a date with him? Or will she remain loyal to Xavier? I hope you guys have your topics because you guys already know. Oh, I thought he was doing this This shit's gonna, gonna man, be good. <laughs> going, no, it's, you don't have a permit that looks like this? Oh, we should we get the parking, the parking pass? pass? Yeah, for this area, because all the Karens, they want people to have permits so they know who lives here and who doesn't. Oh, damn, all these residents are probably like, tripping out like, wait, what the hell? They're really getting a ticket. <laughs> okay, but I, I already started writing, so I can't stop. And actually, you know what he told me? Do you want me to leave the game? And I was like, no, because I can't just chill with Oh, she's calling. She's calling. She's calling you? Yeah. All right, I'm just going to ignore it. She's calling him, Antonio. I think you should go ahead and go in now. Gotcha. Go. Go time. Go time, Antonio. Well, how about texting or... I was here in the car. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. At least you tried to call me, right? That's pretty cool. Having made the scenario as realistic as possible, Antonio was free to make his move. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, that's what they all say, right? That's what they all say. They'll be here in just a we'll moment. Right it's my first time, I swear. Hey, y'all all right? Are you trying to give a Bro, I park here all the time. I live in these apartments over here. Well, a lot of people park here. How long have you been here so far? Just a couple minutes. She ain't even been here that long. Give her 10 more. 10 She's I've been seen here you around for, here before. We've already been here for five I've minutes running around. her up. Most people park here most of the time. So it's like a quick little run here. Most people park here all the time. It's not like mm. abnormal to park here. You like a good man. You like your good people. Come on, give her 10 minutes. You like your good people. I can't I can't okay. let her park here any longer. Okay, like, so do this. If do I don't this leave me. a ticket, at least. Do, don't give her the ticket. I got something for you. I got something for you. I know these tickets oh, not that much. Yeah, these yeah, tickets usually not that much. I'm not allowed to take bribes. Come on, these tickets usually not Okay, you're not convinced. I'm not. I didn't convince you. Okay, let me convince you. Hold on, let me add. Let me like, throw a little extra. Okay, I'll take donations. I'll take donations. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my I, god. I'm gonna take like a lap around minutes. I'm gonna take a lap around the block. If it's still here. Take two laps. Can you okay. give me two laps? Give me two all laps. Right, That'll be like 10, 15 laps. minutes. Alright, alright. Two laps. <laughs> my god. Everybody always park here. They always give people tickets here. I'm sorry you had to experience that. Antonio. I, I know it's not necessary, but you got it's good people in the world still. You know, it's still some good people out here. I hear accent. Where you from? Brazil. I've never been. I've always wanted to go to Brazil. So how long you been here? Uh, for almost a year. I can tell you've been here not that long because you didn't know not to park in this spot. Yeah. Okay. In LA, anytime you see red, do not park. I'm telling you, don't park there. I can see that. <laughs> it's not my fault, actually. My guy just went to pick up something. Right oh, now. okay, okay. Your guy, your guy, your guy. Okay, that's cool. I'm not originally from here either. I'm uh, originally from Miami, but I live in oh, California okay. now. So you got to speak Spanish. You got to speak a little bit of Spanish then, if you're there. Portuguese. Portuguese. Oh, yeah. oh Lord. Oh, no. Lord, I done messed up. So yeah. look, this is what we're going to do. I'm happy I was able to look out for you, but we got to connect. You know, I know you knew you seem like you're good people. You got good energy. I love the energy you from uh, Oh, let's lock in. Hold on. Can I get your number? You just connect, just to, like talk it up, and I can teach you how not to park in the red. Okay. <laughs> That's cool with you. Good. <laughs> All right, that go was ahead. really generous of you, actually. You didn't need to do that. Thank you so much. Like I said, I've been through it before. I don't want to see a beautiful girl out here just chilling. You know, you are beautiful. So go ahead and lock that in for me. Well, she we can go ahead and type in. She really gave him the number. There you go. And. Uh, might be a fake one though. Let's, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. It's a pleasure meeting you. Make sure you lock me in. I'm gonna text you. Get out of this red too. 
<laughs> I'll see you later. It's a little disappointing, you know? I mean, she was, she was being a little friendly. She gave him the number, you know? Uh, I felt like she just gave him her number just to like, as a thank you. Yeah, just like a little courtesy, you know? Right. So hopefully nothing comes about it, you know? I don't know if she'll be okay with me doing that, you know? And, and the fact that she's doing, hopefully it's the wrong number. We still got to give her the benefit of the doubt, you know, see how things go. But you're right though. Would she be okay with you doing that? She told me she's she's a very jealous woman, so okay. she already told no girlfriends. But okay. uh, hope she passes this test. I hope that's a fake number. And this is all done with. You yeah. know, I don't have to see you again. <laughs> that's you know? true. That's uh, true. So I'm I'm hoping this is it right here, honestly. And uh, I feel like well, let's take you back before she starts getting suspicious. Yeah, yeah. I think it's always best if your significant other refrains from handing out their number to people that sound interested in getting oh, to know man. them. Was hey, that she man. referred to Tell them to date? Yeah, so hopefully she is. I hope she does it. <laughs> Antonio had been in communication with Yuli, and for the most part, it was all very cordial. She kept saying she was busy whenever Antonio would ask her to hang out, but she never completely blew him off. In fact, she told him to hit her up on a Thursday as that was her most free day. Hello? Hey, what's up, beautiful? How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. I know we've been texting for a couple of days, so I was like, you know what? Let me just pick up the phone and give you a call real quick so I can hear your voice. Mm -hmm. But also, I'm going to call you and see if um, what you're doing later on tonight. I actually work tonight. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go grab something to eat real quick before you go uh, to work. Um. Did you eat yet? No, I actually haven't. Well, see, you got this call at the perfect time then. Let's go grab some food then real quick. What's your favorite spot? Like, what you trying to, what you want to eat? You want some expensive stuff? Where you trying to go? No, no, no. Let's do something casual because I don't want to, like, dress up or anything. Let's just, can we do, like, something casual? Yeah, that's cool. I know uh, we can go, like, by Panera Bread. That's not too far from my spot. So uh, we can go by there, grab something quick real quick. We ain't got to do nothing too crazy. Bread? Yeah, Panera. What? You ain't never been Panera? Oh, yeah, that's where we're going. Don't even, don't even ask no more questions. Just get ready, just throw on something real, you know, real casual. I'll be over there to get you in a little bit. That work for you? That works perfect. All right, cool. So I'll be there by the hour too. Send me your uh, address. Okay. All right, beautiful. Bye. Later. I don't know about you guys, but I would not like my girlfriend having lunch with a man who is clearly into her. Well, I'm three minutes, four minutes from picking her up now. Okay, sounds good. Just text me when you get her then. Okay, will do. Okay, cool. We're on our way already too. While Antonio made his way to pick up Yuli, we made our way to Panera Bread. Just keep an eye out for the parking lot if you see them. Honestly, dude, I think it's going to take him like 30 to 40 minutes. Yeah, she lives pretty far from this location. Yeah. yeah. So you were trying to be a passport, bro. I was trying. I was trying to get dual citizenship, you know? <laughs> trying to be in Brazil and here. I'm low-key tempted to go into the drive-thru and get something. You gonna take that long? What do you think? Are you hungry? Uh, not really. <laughs> After waiting for quite some time, our patience eventually paid off. We're on the other side of these cars. <gasps> there they are, there they are, there they are. Elias, come in. Over. Go ahead. What do you think about going in there and getting something? Yeah, I can do that. How close should I sit? Right up on their asses. That's why he's feeling left, left out. He wants to know if he can come in with me. You can take him in there with you. With the second half of our team getting closer coverage, phase two was in full swing. Oh, there they are. Oh, oh here we go. Come on, camera, focus, bitch. There really wasn't anything that we were listening out for. We just wanted Antonio to get more acquainted with Yuli. Let me swing around, try to get another angle. There's a, there's a spot right there in front. I don't want to go too close, though. I mean, they don't know your car, so. True. And your windows are tinted. This was supposed to be a very simple phase, but as you guys will see, Things got very interesting very quickly. We're in a whole relationship. Come out here with another dude. Yeah, she, she just mad. It's crazy. Oh, food's ready. <laughs> she's by herself. Should I, should I send her a text? Ask her what she's doing? Try calling her. Let's call her. Yeah, try calling her. Let me just give her a shot. Because he's not there. Let's see if she answers. Yeah, that's good. This is good. Oh, she's oh, getting she's the call. Oh, she's getting the call. She's checking her phone. Oh, but Antonio's coming back. She answers. She's oh, she's going to answer. She put her phone away. She put her phone away. She's not answering. Damn, bro. Antonia came back at the wrong moment. I'm gonna send her a little taxi and see if she responds. As I'm sure you guys might have guessed, Yuli never gave Xavier a call or text back. She's ignored my ass, huh? She literally she looked picked at her, up her phone. phone. Yeah, she I saw it. I saw it. it. I saw it. All these girls right here for the streets. Just out of curiosity, what do you think mm. she would say if you walked up there right now? We're like, what's up? What are you doing here? She'll try to blow this off like it was nothing. That's what she's gonna do. Oh, if I if I confront her, oh, I just fooled. We didn't do anything. I already know how she is. Because they really haven't done too much. Yeah. You know, she go, oh, it's just my friend. You know, I already know how she is. Surely we know what's going on. While Yuli never hit Xavier back, Antonio shot me a text. It was a little broken, but I think what he meant to say was, I can get her back to the apartment. She sounds down to go finish this today <laughs> yeah, i don't know confident huh? <laughs> so the original plan was for them today to eat just food then you want to just try to finish this whole thing today yeah, yeah honestly it, 
if she wants to do more with him after this, like, it, it's over. Like, he wants to go back to another day, go back to her house. I'm like, I'm, I'm done with her. If you want to finish everything today. Otherwise, we could stick to the game plan and uh, see if she shows up to a house or whatever. I think we we'll just get, out, get us out the way, man. Get it out the way? Yeah, let's get I don't, don't want to waste any more time with her and have to pretend like I still care about her, you know. She goes over, it's a wrap. You sure? 100% positive? Let's wrap it up today? Wait, we head out right now, you think? Yeah, that's what okay. I was thinking. Okay. Yeah, man, I'm 100% positive. This is it, then. We are going. No turning back now. I guess so. Before making our way back to the apartment, we handed our crew a small mic that they would hand off to Antonio discreetly in the men's restroom. We're at the hurry, so we could beat him there. I know we're going to have to hurry. We weren't terribly concerned with time because Antonio could have just stall and keep us updated. What had us more concerned were the cameras, hidden mics, and the live feed that we had to set up. We weren't planning on shooting phase three today, so we weren't sure if everything was charged. But hey, things like this are unpredictable and we had to trust Antonio's judgment. She's gonna come over, she said that's, yeah. That's what he said. I, I'm assuming that's what he means by that. My apartment is a go. <laughs> All right, that was good. I live like maybe like six, seven minutes from here. We can chill for a second, at least until you go to work. So you gotta go all the way home. It's still early. Luckily, we were able to make it work with the equipment that we had. We let Antonio know where the cameras were pointing and what he had access to, which included a bottle of wine. And then we just got into position. Let me get your dough, let me get your dough. This is when it starts to really get real. Yeah. As of right now, Antonio hasn't really made his intentions clear. Here in this portion, Antonio's gonna ask her out. Hopefully when he's doing all that, she says, I got a man, I gotta Bro, stay low to him. We're in a committed relationship, ball. man, so. It's the least you can do. I don't know any friends I'm going to the house and yeah. that's something's not really happening, you know, so. Even if she passes, it's still definitely a conversation. That alone is already enough for me, you know. She, she's doing things behind my back. She's being dishonest. Yeah. yeah. Um, all, all things I can do. Oh, just texted me at the elevator. Okay. I think okay, we huh? should uh, get ready. We should do a little wine. We had some food. Now we gotta like top it off with the wine. What you think? Okay, okay. Get you ready for work. <laughs> we should have put a camera in the kitchen. It's all good. It's all good. Do it by yourself? Yeah. What about you, roommate? Yeah, I have. Oh, oh. Crazy. Don't mind that. <laughs> all right. I wish. It's been a while. There's just no other reason for her to be here. She could have got the lunch, left home, and, and you know, enjoyed the rest right, of the Right, like day. he's not like, offering it. to do anything for her. He's not offering to like help her out with anything. The only reason she's here is because she's interested in him. No one's ever that friendly, you know? Right. No, no one's ever that friendly. You only do this for a reason. Like, you're into the dude, you like the dude. You want to sit over here real quick? We got the wine, we're going to have a seat real quick, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. Come on, come on, have a seat for me. Antonio finally brings Yuli in perfect line of our cameras. Before making his move though, he spends a considerable amount of time just making small talk and browsing through Netflix. Oh, there's Lions. There's the rest of the team. That's my shit, the little kid with the little horns. That's my stuff. <laughs> what you know about Sweet Tooth? Hold on, I knew you was good people. I knew you was good people. Antonio and Yuli definitely seem to be getting along. Unfortunately, the two genuinely seem to be making a connection. They clone Tyrone, you seen that? No. Now listen, let me tell you something. They clone Tyrone was lit. No, don't put on a movie, bro. <laughs> get to the test. <laughs> Antonio was taking a little bit too much time, so I eventually texted him and just get to it. There was no denying it though. These two were vibing. Their body language said it all. I don't like that body language. Yeah, they're intimate. There's just a lot of space on that couch. She could easily move over. She could go she sit on the other couch. She shouldn't have been hey, in the first place. Come you know? on, man. If, I'm, if I'm funny, that means you're having a good time, right? Oh, yeah. So that means you're gonna call off work and we're gonna continue this, right? What, you mean tonight? Yeah. You, ain't, you don't you don't have to go to work like per se. You can get like a call off day. No, I can't. I can't do I can't pull that off like right now. Now things were starting to get interesting. My boy Antonio wasn't just trying to make his move, he was trying to get her to call off work. Hold on. What 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 you usually how much you make? How much you make at work tonight? No. How much you usually it's not make? About the money. How much you make tonight? No, it's not about the money. How much you make? If you let me let me let me let's, let's see. If you make twenty dollars an hour, twenty five dollars an hour, we gonna double that. So we gonna say you make fifty an hour. Fifty times we gonna say you you there for about what six hours well, if you no, start at eight. You should look. Money. I want you to take this. No. So you can just chill. We are supposed to be here chilling. You know what I'm saying? We having a good time. I feel like we like, we should just continue this. I feel like the vibe is right for us to chill. No, it's just one night. I ain't saying like oh come stay for like five six days. Just just tonight, one night. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's too late for you, and mm -hmm. if you want like meet out later. Yeah, you got me fucked up. That's cool. You say get up what? What? One. Say less. Mm -hmm. Say less, then. And then what? You're gonna pick me up? Gonna, can you Uber me? Or like? Yeah, I can see your Uber. I can come scoop you. Listen, like I said, beautiful girls get what they want. So you say Antonio, come get me. I'm coming to get you. And it's not late for you, like one. I'm a night owl. 
Even if I was a night owl, if you ask me, I'm gonna be a night owl. So what you trying to do? What's up? Well, maybe I can come back. Like, See, I don't like that word. Maybe I don't like that word. Maybe you got obligations. You think you think about your dude? Is that what kind of got you like going back and forth? Um, a little bit, yeah. Do you think y'all really that serious, or y'all just kicking it, or what is like the real deal with y'all? Um, I don't know. I feel like I have ups and downs with that. Yeah. So you really, you know, you tell me if I'm wrong. I feel like you like the dude, but you feel like you want to keep your options open. That's what it sounds like to me. That's just what, right? I'm not, don't, look, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. I'm just trying to get a better understanding for me, just so I know how, like, how we can kick it. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, yeah. So you good with staying here with me, and we can kick it for the night? Yeah. yeah. I'm done, man. I'm done with her. Fuck all that. Nah, he's talking about sleeping over. That's it. Yeah, that's it, dude. Yeah, nah, I'm good. At 1 a.m., I don't think there's no going home at 1 a.m., right? <laughs> you want. As long as you go with us laying together. Grown Thank you. We grown. <laughs> Thank you. We grown. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Damn. Like that's that. how she feels? Cheers to being grown. We gotta be cheers to being grown in this thing. Let's go. I'm bleeding right outside and she's having a whole nother relationship with this dude, trying to commit. I'm about to come back over and fuck him. At least I have to be about the money, man. That she actually likes this dude. She, she just wants to come back and spend time with him. Oh, now you're hugging up on him? Yeah, yeah, no, nah, I'm, Yo. yeah, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> and Tony could make a move right now, and I'm sure she'd oh, yeah. go for it. I already seen enough, man. If this were a real situation, bro, and Tony would have capitalized a long time ago, dude. She's doing this to herself. She put herself in that room. She put herself in the house. She didn't have to do any of this. She kept it going. She gave her real number. She, she's here. She, yeah. She's doing everything. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Yeah. I trusted her, man. She seemed like a genuine, honest woman. You know, she's not from America. I was like, all right, cool. She's not, you know, westernized yet, but but I guess they're all the same everywhere we go. She's gonna come fuck this dude, you know? She's gonna come back. That, that's she's, basically what that's, she's that's agreeing or saying that she wants to do. We're all grown. She cheers to we're grown. Like, yeah, you know, we know what grown-ups do when they're alone, sleeping over together, and this is not who I want to be with. And with that, Xavier decides to confront Yuli. Now, big props to Antonio. He definitely showed a lot of respect and restraint to not hook up with the homie's girl. This was one of those tests where if he wanted to, he could have. Fuck this bitch, she's for the streets. She's for, she's for the streets, man. We, we're gonna send her right back where she came from. <laughs> The streets, not Brazil. The streets, the streets. <laughs> You're not gonna cry. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys thought about this test in the comments below. And I hope you guys have your talkies because you guys already know. This shit. Y'all wanna see the rest of that video? Y'all gonna tap it with his channel? Probably link it below. Maybe not. You feel me? But yeah, that was for nature.